Martin Kwebu is a private legal practitioner. A lot has been said about these arrests, people asking for more prosecution and so on. But legally, what has she done wrong? And how? what can you really do against someone who has money in their home? Is there a law that says do not have money in your home? Counsel, you're welcome to Eyewitness News. Hello? Yes, can you hear me, sir? Okay. All right, yes. Okay, is, there, is there any legal uh, issue in this or is it just a moral issue? We, we should forget the law part of things. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, Sandra, no, you, you, are, you are teasing us. Okay, sure. A whole lot of legal issues. You know, the first uh, law that's implicated here is Article 286 plus 4, which says that if a public officer is found with money and any other form of property, which cannot be attributed to that public officer's income, loan, inheritance, then, or gift, then that uh, property is deemed to have been illegally acquired. And it implies, though you don't see it expressly there, it implies that the state will confiscate it. Because the context is that you declared your assets, and then somebody sees that hey, you are holding more than what you can afford as a minister, DC, MMDC, whatever. And so somebody goes to report. So either Shiraj or OSC. So I'm laying the context under the law. You can go to either Shiraj or OSC. So pull your declaration of assets at the time you took office. Then they will ask you to explain. If it's not already in there and you're saying it's new, you explain. If your explanation doesn't add up, it's confiscated. It's confiscated. So, look, if this one is even faster, this first step, once you cannot explain, unexplained work, it goes to the state. Uh, Why have you seen it that the state authorities can call you to explain certain wealth? You are not able to explain, and then you say, oh, you still want to keep the item. No, the Constitution says that property would have been acquired illegally. <laughs> and where in Ghana do we allow people to go around with illegal property? It's going to be confiscated straight. Yes. So, so that, that's the first one. Then number two, now that the OSC is gone in, done the arrest, everything and all those things, the next thing is that as they investigate, um, what do you call it? We will see if maybe we will see corruption, like what we are eagerly, I mean, if you, you are around, I mean, you read news and you follow the name politics. Corruption is the first thing you'll be looking for, or at least, uh, the, yes, bribery and corruption. Where is this money from? Could it be the contract to superintended over a ministry? You know, even on social media, some people have suggested certain contracts. I will not repeat. But at least, you see, we are reasonable people. We are beginning to look around. And do you even imagine that there was one of the radio stations, uh, sorry, the TV stations, where one an entity communicator came and said for one of the contracts, the, uh, this is the World Bank project, the $48 million project. The guy even suggested that the owners, the contractors could have come to that for $2 million. <laughs> I don't know whether the guy knew exactly what he was saying. Okay, so let's see how the source of the money, the investigations will lead to something. By all means, it will lead to something. Yes, so we should be very excited. These are very exciting times. Exciting because, you know, President Kufado thought we are kids. The way he kept mentioning, he hasn't seen corruption, blah, blah, blah. He will fight with the Anas principle, and he hasn't fought even with his, with anything. And now through God's own, uh, this is me. we are uncovering them one by one. So please, there's a, there are a lot of issues on this. The OSP is on it. Shirad may also weigh in. And then let's take it from there. But it's too early to be passing judgment on, on, the, on the Honorable mi former minister, isn't it? Because... We we have not heard from her yet. We don't even know what the state investigators have been picking up. We don't even know whether this money was part of what she declared under Article 285, like you, you hinted earlier. Mm. Uh, Umaru, so, the, the, so the issue of breaking the law may not arise for now. And again, don't forget that she's supposed to be a victim. We are not considering that aspect too, are we? <laughs> you are trying, but let me repeat, please. For each day that Ms. Dapa doesn't bring her response, we are liberty to assume that she's not able to bring it. You see, sometimes you see the way we speak our local languages. There's a lot of wisdom. When you hear the elders say that the truth is only one, 
is one. So from day one, that people Friday, people have been talking about this. So what is this at all that you can't come out and tell us? It is the company straight, quickly. So the more she delays, and the more it fuels the suspicion. Look, this is normal in every society. You can't find a society where we say, yes, I'm a lawyer. I was just telling your colleague, um, Bernard Avila, that yes, sometimes you see, you wear different hats. I can't say, just because I'm a lawyer, we can't say anything until OSC is done. No, 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 it's not that. It's like that. You hear the local say, say, the you, Tinawa and Katamwa, the you and Yiboni. So the commentary has to continue alongside. We'll be careful. We haven't passed that, that one is for court of law, etc. But within public opinion, we are allowed to make reasonable inference. Yes, once there's no court case right now, we are allowed. If you have said there's a court case, so we shouldn't be making inferences. Yeah, maybe I would have listened to it a bit. But right now, no, no court case. So, and these commentaries we run also help because when it does that, then it shows you that public anger will be an incentive for the OSC to do its work excellently, because you know that people are angry, people are talking about this uh, the, the, this uh, scandal. So there's no chance to make a mistake. There's no chance to go slow, you know, and all that. So this public commentary serves a very useful purpose. Don't we are passing judgment. No, it's within that we can make inferences. Okay. The, the, uh, since, since it emerged that the OSB had taken interest, I've seen people on social media who are not very confident about the outcome. Are you confident that something is going to come out of this? And and there are people who make the commentary and who are critiquing the OSP are critiquing from a precedent point of view. I'm very confident the OSP will get us something. I'm very confident. Look, the way Madame Zappa has not been able to come out swiftly, yeah, that minister begins to tell that, mm -mm, no, the all is not well. Because such a matter, if the money is clean money, immediately you hear this noise about it. So what? Hey, is this money you are talking about? Look at it. This is where I got it. You don't delay. You don't delay. So the Madame Dapal's delay in coming out gives me great discomfort. And you see that people will continue commenting. Ah, because they took just one. If you just got it from here, why not? Quickly. Quickly. What? What? Are, lawyers will not sleep. They will work overnight to read over papers in case you think, oh, in commenting that you got it from here, maybe GRA will come after you. Eh, but that's another matter. In the day, you will be better off going out quickly and then deal with GRA later than for your name to be soiled. You see, because don't forget, others who are saying the longer this thing, any answer that comes out later, the public are bound to say that it's a cooked up answer. It's cooked. Mm. <laughs> that's the that with answers that take long. Good. So now let's come to the other side of your question. So those who are complaining and say they don't have trust in the OSC, well, you see, in a society, no things are bound to happen. You can't get everybody saying that everything will go to plan, everything will be done perfectly. No. Even the day we have to think alike, that everything will go uh, according to plan, that will be the beginning of the end for us as a society. So the skeptics are very, very necessary in every society because there are skepticism is going to uh, incentivize the OSP to do the work excellently because they know that they have critics. Now, if the OSP were to know that, oh, all Ghanaians are behind, there are no critics, then there is room for complacency. That's the way I see it. So, a lot of always remember that you use Tinawa and Katawa, you use you Boni. Okay. And the Baba is in your hair, you don't complain from time to time. The elders say that your haircut will not be the best. <laughs> Thank you. That's uh, Martin Pebu. He's a lawyer, private legal practitioner, that is, uh, sharing his perspectives with us, uh, the legal point of view.